What up, y'all? It's your boy, Jay Calloway. Your boy, Flip Vibe. It's Talk to Entertainment, man. Talk to him. You feel me? We uh, back in on podcast tip. You know what I'm saying? We've been a little bit everywhere. This you know episode is a recap episode. You know what I'm saying? So we pretty much just going to be going over like what we've been doing. Uh, shouting out some of the people we've been working with and just like all the connections we've been making. Content creators and artists and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And and we're going to let y'all know what we got planned in the future with Talk to Entertainment. Being that it's the summer, it's getting hot out there, man. And you know, we want to... <clears throat> We want to get crazy, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, we kind of gave you guys like a sample of talk to him on the street, but I know when we hit the streets, we actually going to be talking to y'all. Yeah, that sample, it was like damn near end of the summer type shit, and then like it got cold, quick as hell, and then like, so now we on that shit for real. Like, we about to hit, go hit downtown, go hit the river walk again, and shit, possibly... Well, you want to give them, how much information you want to give them, though? We can't give them too much, but you all know, right, we can just right, give them a little right. teaser. You know, I... I tell you how it is. <laughs> uh, so how you doing today? I'm been chilling, man. You know, I'm kind of hungry, nigga. I'm uh, we been we been kind of active this morning. I'm trying to eat this sandwich, get this show over with. You yeah, hungry, <laughs> hungry boy? You eat your food? Oh, and you know, I took a couple <laughs> bites. Took a couple bites. Took a couple bites. How you? How you been? <sighs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm been kind of tired. Trying to get to the money. Trying to network. Just trying to build a brand for real. Yeah, bro. That's. That's, that's that's no shit. You uh did some you did a photo shoot, like uh I did like a little video for my girl Dre. Shout out to Dre. Mm-hmm. But, you know I don't even I don't even shoot videos for real. It's like that's once shit. you it's like once you get a camera, you kind of like see what other ventures you can do mm-hmm. with having a camera. It's a lot of it's a lot of like possibilities with cameras for real, and I fuck with that. And that's why like niggas, you buy a camera, especially if you buy like a nice camera. It's so much like you said, so much shit you do for real, and like. Bro asked me on Instagram, I got my little photography page. He was like, you shoot videos? I'm like, no, nah, I'm not really familiar with that shit, but like, all right, for sure. That can open, just even that can open doors, Yeah, bro. You'll be surprised. He was like, damn, like, I'll fuck with you. I'm like, yeah, bro. I'll see what I can get, get you when you like it. Bro, and it's crazy because like, you know, you got a, you got a secondary lens and I be taking pictures with a stock lens. Yeah, and it's like, you kit could, lens. You could do some shit with them bitches, man. That, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, these cameras we got decent. They, they good cameras for real, bro. Look, is this free game? Tell me if this free game at the end. Okay, okay, okay. But if y'all want to like do anything, if you want to start, if you want to even buy a camera, one thing I say is once you buy the camera, you kind of got to like put the work in. Don't just buy to let it collect dust. Yeah, like, put bro. the work in. If you go like like if you go buy that buy that camera for that type of for that type of like content creating shit, do that shit for real, bro. Like, and, and then like a lot of people, my my thing is when I be with my camera, I be thinking that like I'm limited to certain stuff because of my camera because. Like I'm not as experienced with the on that bitch, but like I probably think like, damn, I need four, five, four, five lenses. Nigga, I need this Canon camera over here that's like five thousand dollars over here. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. It's not it's not that for real. like I like niggas like you a good photographer, videographer, anything. If you do that shit for real, you can make good quality content with almost any camera or fun your iPhone camera for real. You just that's gotta crazy. like uh use your resources for yeah, real. Yeah, do do your research and then like like you said, practice make Perfect for real. So Hell yeah. You hit that bitch for real, you go get some shit cracking. You uh you heard about the Quavo on Offset beef? Yeah, bro. I don't know what what's going on with that, bro. Like for some reason they just like unfollow that nigga. Like, I don't know what the fuck going on. You you hip to it? I kinda I heard like a couple speculations, but you know, it's the media. Who knows what's true and what's not. What do you what do you believe? I feel like reason. I feel like off I feel like Quavo really I'm mean, this is my opinion. I feel like Quavo, the star of the Migos, like he the front face for it. You also got uh Offset who's like the runner up and you got Takeoff who just he he be chilling, you know. He just be Mama. vibing. Yeah. Right, you go. Yeah, he just be vibing for real. <laughs> but uh <laughs> I feel like I feel like it's kinda of, I feel I really do be feeling like Offset Offset is a good rapper. Like he made good music, but I feel I kind of feel like he be like riding Cardi B wave a little. You don't be working with the boys. He be with nah, his bitch. I don't know for real about that one. If he riding Cardi B wave, he'll be like he'll be like damn near featured on every song that she on or some shit like you that. Right, but you started with Migos in my opinion. They like the last vet group that's like been together. Been it, yeah. yeah, so it's like you trying to break it up over. I mean, like. I ain't gonna never say like don't do like don't stop working with your boys because you got a girl or whatever. But mm-hmm. you came up with these niggas like you 
I don't know, bro. I, I, if it is, if it's, if it's Cardi B that got something to do with that whole situation, like that's some, that's some real whole shit for real. But like, pro, pro, uh, it but probably like, don't even really got to do with her. But continue. But like, if it's like on some shit, like I don't know. I feel like I feel like bro just probably. I don't know, bro. I feel like bro just 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 tired of being like the um the second thought because like you said Quavo is like the the front man of that whole group type shit. I guess he probably like yeah, I'm gonna have to go solo and do my own shit. All right, so out of the three uh, amigos, who you feel like could really have a career like solo? I ain't gonna cap. I say Quavo. Exactly. I say That's Quavo. what I'm saying. <laughs> I think he really versatile for real. Yeah, I say Quavo, but I think the hardest the, the flow for real, I fuck with Takeoff flow. Takeoff, yeah, he hard. He you know hard. what I'm saying? Like, I think he got some shit popping for real. And I think, honestly, I think it's Quavo. He If he have a solo career, Quavo will be the, the number one on boards and shit like that. And then second will be Offset. You feel like, um, second, do, yeah. Do you feel like any of it got to do with the, the Rico charge on YFL? Like, do you feel like that has anything to do with why the uh, the Migos are kind of like breaking up? I don't know. I don't know how LinkedIn LinkedIn them with them niggas they are. Like how like group um like you know what I'm saying tied in with YSL and all that shit. So if they tied in for real, then yeah. Because like, you know they uh they all from Atlanta. They are, and they all got like today. All I feel like they all got ties before um. Before it was even like a QC, like the label. Before it was yeah. even a QC, a yeah. little baby, like yeah. they all knew each other. Shit, that nigga baby said he was in prison with uh with the Migos at one time. Like that shit saying. crazy. Damn, he's just passing out green tea shots. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, where about shot at, gang? Oh, I got a cup before this me. She got a hey. talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bro. Um. Yeah, it's just like all that, and then that's another thing I like about Atlanta too, because like all them niggas didn't retire in for real. Like it's like it's not like the city for real, bro. Like the city, the like Detroit, them niggas like like I like how Peasy doing it though. I you know you hear what I'm saying? Elaborate a little bit more. Like how Peasy doing? Like he got like he how he did with Rio, Rio and put, uh, put his people on. Yeah, put and your motherfucking like, people he, on. He, he, he ain't just go to Flint and be like, yeah, I just want Rio. That's it, nigga. No, he went to. He went to uh, Flint and was like, yeah, I want Rio, Mike, Louis Ray, all them niggas. I want them niggas like on my label, you know, Get a Boy Entertainment type shit. Green T-shirts, y'all. So, shout, like, shout out Jason and Ant. That's one thing that the city got to do, bro. Y'all got to like just like, can't, you, y'all can't be like. Put your motherfucking people on. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's like no free game. You know what I'm saying? Like no. And like that's another thing, bro. People in the city, they not going to put like. You got to spend some cheese to really get put on or you really got to know people because like, how you going to really venture out and like get to where you want to be. Right. Right. And then like, and that's another thing. I just feel like motherfuckers, there's too much beef in the city for real. Like the motherfuckers just like. You beef. Know. And you know, it's crazy. Like niggas put more energy in the beef than they do. Like they singles, yeah. they albums, yeah. they projects, yeah. all of that. Imagine if I, like niggas came together. I ain't going to speak on too much. Like like how like uh Cash Game and Band Game them niggas. But beef, bro, I, I'm telling you, Cash Game, damn near every other song they got is like a, a diss to their ops, nigga. I swear, bro. They dead ops. And that be the thing, bro. It's like, it's cool. The city know like the. Killing, shredding, that's a buzz right now. But it's like, how much of that can you really listen to? You can only relate to like a half of it for real. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm just saying. If you let, unless you really in that field for real type shit. Yeah. Let me, let me clarify my cup though. The reason I got hearts on my cup, this is a. Uh, He's a lover boy and he light skin. No, nigga. <laughs> this is, you know, the hearts, the hearts, the suits and like cards and shit. What? I got a poker set of cups and it had like. Oh, that's Clubs hard and shit like that. Yeah, so that's why that's it. But yeah, that's that's all I'm saying. But like, far as them like that beef and like that shit, I don't even think it's a beef for real. I don't know. I think he just like one of them that type of niggas. Like, I, he probably like me. You know how I said, or I fuck. I don't fuck with none of the friend group for real. Yeah, and I went my own way. And like, all right, bet he probably got to find his way for real. Probably just got to like be like, yeah, who? Um, Offset. Oh, that's why he don't follow them. Niggas. I like that connection, man. You know I, what I'm feel saying? that. I feel that. <laughs> You probably feel like, what's his what's his zodiac sign? I don't know. We ain't gonna get to that shit. Moving on. What you feel about uh the Rico charge that uh, YSL just got hit with? <laughs> Might just get hit with a Rico. Tell some channel go get hit with a Rico charge. Second like plan. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's some whole ass shit. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like that's how that's how they got um what's his name, Lucci. Yeah, IFN, yeah, bro. 
that's like if if it's like some shit like you allegedly, go allegedly allegedly if it's like some shit that's like really like you can really tie like say like juggle do some shit and then he affiliated with us and some shit like that if y'all can really tie that connection like i like we helped joe to go do some dirt and then like jason was gonna do some dirt and we helped him do that shit if y'all can really that's why lawyers go to school or the detective they did go you to see school. the prosecutor uh no but i did see his hearing when he didn't uh she she like I, she like infamous for like to like try to charge niggas with rico shit it's not federal neither it's a state charge so i don't know uh, cause I know like the uh, the Rico. I think he got charged in Georgia. Yeah, they their uh their laws are different. It's weird. And then you know what else, bro? If you get hit with a Rico, them them laws like they got they got your ass down there. They got like evidence from back. They did. They was, was somebody 12, told somebody told. No, nah, bro. It's like like I said, Jogo do some shit. They they surveillance this nigga doing shit, and then they got evidence and saying that okay, he like we sent that nigga to do some shit. You know what I'm saying? They, that shit. You feel me? Hey, how he know all of that? Research, nigga. <laughs> Rico, nigga, like, that's how you saying, like, that's how, like, the mobsters and shit, like, like, you got the boss nigga sending out his work, his, uh, his, his goons to go do some shit, and like, all right, y'all not gonna get charged, y'all go get, I mean, we not just gonna charge y'all for the murder, we gonna charge the whole organization for the murder of this nigga right here. But, hear me out, bro, and this go back, <clears throat> This go back to the video when we was talking about Pooh Shiesty and looks like doing dirt and you made it. You remember that? Mm -hmm. So we damn that can do a little flashback. That shit lame as hell. But looks oh, like yeah. you got pape. You got pape. You got pape. Why you out here? Uh, well, he, well, he, he calling he calling hits. I mean, yeah, that's that's yeah. the whole point I'm trying to yeah. make. Why you got pape calling hits? And that's why I was saying like our niggas was like, uh, Dirk ain't soft for his nigga. Dirk ain't did this. Dirk ain't do that. Nigga, that nigga is in an industry. That nigga ain't about to be, be out here siding on niggas in in a in the shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, if bro was really on that type of shit, like he he got a career, he got kids to look after. Like, that nigga ain't about to jeopardize that shit for no shit like that. He got goons that were gonna do that shit for sure. And he probably know like the feds like hot on them too. Like six nine exactly. really be trolling. He exactly. want he want Dirk to lash out. <laughs> exactly. And then that nigga six nine a bitch too, bro. I just want I just want a nigga to press that nigga. Like I really wanted Fo Two Dud to uh to like really hold that nigga on live. Fo Two Dud locked. That nigga locked. Bro, this gonna be a lame ass summer for music. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> this shit gonna be lame as hell. Unless they got some pre recorded shit. Who you feel like gonna take the summer over? We can go, we can do industry hey, and listen. uh we can do industry and listen. like inner city. Listen, nigga, um what's that nigga? Watch me walk through um uh, watch me what's his name? <laughs> Huh? Rich Hobie. Rich Hobie. That's his time to shine, nigga. Rich Hobie quiet, nigga. Nigga, why you still locked up, nigga? It's your time to get in that bitch. Walk. Mm, mm, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> feel funny, me? Yeah. It's his time, nigga. No cap, though. I would. He got bangers, too. That'd be the thing. Thanks, nigga. That nigga, I don't know, bro. He had that little beef with Thug, and like that shit is like, kind of like. Killed it. Killed it for real. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I gotta say, rest in peace with my nigga Key, bro. Key was yeah, keyed out of YSL, bro. He was about to go crazy. Key talked to him, but sorry, Key. Flea's going to talk to him. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really listening to his music for real. He hard. Yeah. He is hard. I got to check him out. I hate checking out rappers after they denied for real. But I mean, like, at least, like, you keep an open ear and, like, if you can vibe to some shit, yeah. like, you know? Yeah. That's like, like, I, I got hip to Nipsey Hussle music, like, like, Three months before he died, bro, and I was like, kind of hurt. You're like, damn, bro, he had some, he had some shit for real. But you probably really took in the message behind his music. Though. Oh yeah, just that three months I listened to him, I was fucked with it. You know what I'm saying? And then, I ain't got no wood. We can. <laughs> this nigga looking for a wood, bro. Uh, my, my fault. That was you, ghetto. You good, that man. was ghetto. But yeah, bro. <clears throat> that YSL Rico charge. That shit lame as hell. I feel like free YSL, man. Free thugger, free gun, and nigga. How you feel, how you think it's gonna like play out in the end? Somebody doing time. I feel like uh, I feel like go ahead. They ain't gonna give you no Rico charge or something. No you cooked. Shit. You cooked. They got evidence on your ass. That's why, like somebody, like you say, either they got footage, surveillance, or a nigga told them niggas got evidence. They got key. They got they got key witnesses. They got testimonies and shit like that. But this is just on some theory. This is on like some theory type shit. Hell yeah. What are the chances that gonna everybody in White Hill gets locked up and Lil Key dies? Like couple days after, like I feel like that. I feel like that's too much of a coincidence. 
That is kind of strange. And then after, and then all that shit happened after like Gunna and shit, shit dropping, music dropping, shit like that. Them niggas, doing, they niggas was blowing up. Like YSL was going there doing their thing for real. They, uh, they said they, they, I forgot the term, but like basically they tied Gunna into the Rico because. Lil Keen and him did a video called Fox 5 and he had on a YSL oh, chain. Oh, shit. But, like, think about it, bro. Like, YSL is a label. Like, it's not a, that's another thing. It's not a game. Exactly. So, like, how you gonna, how you gonna, like, how can you really, I'm sure it's more to it, but how yeah. can you really, like, make that claim off a video and somebody having a chain of the label? Yeah, that shit. That's what, and then I was saying, I, heard, I saw some shit on Twitter saying, like, I didn't know Jack Jack Harlow White sales. Oh my oh. god, they trolling. <laughs> Jack Harlow White sales. Them niggas was like, it was some shit like, yeah, that nigga. Why that nigga ain't get Jack Harlow? And then like, I guess an interviewer asked the prose- prosecutor. It was like, yeah, why Jack Harlow didn't get uh, included in his indictment? It was like, she was like, she said some shit like, we ain't, we don't have the um, information to re- to release like why certain names haven't been called. I'm convinced you can get trolled on like even the most professional level in life. Like you'll get trolled about anything. Hell who, yeah! What fucking, type of question is that? Fucking like they could troll. They could troll the president if they wanted to. Nigga, like exactly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how you feel about these Michigan gas prices? Michigan grass, gas gas. Let's say grass. Nigga. Grass prices. Gas prices. Nigga, I wish my car ran off grass. <laughs> <laughs> but um, damn, bro. That shit, you know how much I spent the other day? How much? What's the day? Sunday? Sunday. I put, I filled my tank up Thursday, nigga. $75. Let me tell you. I mean, it is premium. premium. It is oh, premium. Yeah. But sense. that shit used to run me like 50. But that shit gone. <laughs> this, this, the, this the key that people not hit, bro. Everybody don't want to pay for gas, but this is the thing. When you fill your tank up, make sure your tank don't get past half or That's, a quarter. But you'll be filling up every three days, nigga. I had to put my shit. I used to drive a sport. I had to put my shit in eco mode. I don't blame you. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I don't blame you, nigga. That shit seventy five dollars, bro. I think it isn't it up to like uh four seventy or something like that. That's my I saw. Nigga, premium like five ten for real. But like yeah, about four eighty. I saw over five ten. Yeah, premium about five ten. Right, Joe? Yeah, bro. I saw a post that said gas should get up to six dollars by August. Oh, bro. Y'all got extra skateboards over there? <laughs> no cap, nigga. Hey, I don't, catch me on my motorcycle. Y'all niggas, y'all can't ride and ride my motorcycle, nigga. <laughs> Take my ass to Amazon or the Razor scooter. Hell yeah. Pull oh, shit, you got a scooter, nigga. You pop out oh, with yeah, that you bitch. Oh, yeah, you're right. I, I had part of the bike club, you know? Hell that yeah. one, yeah. Shout out Sean. He that was, that was shit. Hey, your brother did went to prom, too. You want to talk about that? He did go to prom. It was, um... Yeah, we can't recap about that. It was kind of like more. It was sweet for him, for real, for real. He did his thing. I damn near feel like out of his friend group, he had to fly his shit. But you know, I'm biased. Yeah, you judge your brother. Yeah, you know. I, I ain't gonna call it. That nigga did look clean as hell, bro. He was did. You, was he you, did. you was you a proud brother? Uh, I mean, I would say I was a proud brother. It was more so like I'm kind of you know getting a little old. Oh, man. I mean, that man. shit had that shit had me thinking like, damn, bro. Then my niece talking about she, I think she in eighth grade. I think she be a freshman next year. That shit. You feel me? <laughs> That's crazy. You feel me? That shit time don't wait on nobody. That's what I'm saying, bro. Y'all gonna do some shit. Do your shit right now, bro. Don't, or at least don't start. Don't, don't do yeah. Fuck that writing shit down. And if you're gonna write some shit down, how about you apply what you written down to real life? Apply that pressure, nigga. Get out in these streets. So how much longer you gonna write? How much longer you gonna write some shit down? God almost How much writing are you gonna do in this book? God God only promised us seventy years, nigga. What if that book burns up? Then what you gonna do? Oh, All man. the knowledge gone. Oh. What break it break that down for us real quick? You want to come? You want to come talk? Hey, plug in the mic for this nigga. <laughs> Shit, I mean, I'm trying to get. I want to know. Wise words from Jason Lyles, man. So right. shout out who? Oh yeah. Oh, let's talk about that shit. Our video got taken down off YouTube, y'all. If y'all not hip, we was uh, going crazy. We, we got we broke like five hundred views, bro. We we broke five hundred views and we got copyrighted. And them niggas was like, "Yeah, bro, y'all shit not be about to be played on this YouTube channel no more." Universal Music Group copyrighted, by the way. Like so they official. 
That's just something else we're coming up. We coming up with live, live music album reviews, and then we gonna bring that shit to the to the to the show. So I don't know if we go. What we decide the platform Twitch or uh, YouTube. Honestly, I feel like we should be able to go live on Twitch. We have a Twitch account, so make sure you follow us. Yeah, follow us on, on Twitch. It's gonna be in the bottom. We'll and we're gonna bottom. go live on uh, YouTube if we can. Yeah, bro. And then, of course, we'll let y'all know on our Instagram page when we go live, and you know what I'm saying what album we gonna reviewing on that live. But yeah, bro, they took that video down. I was kind of hurt. I got that email. I'm like, bro, I hit the floor. Like, bro, you see this shit, bro? He's like, yeah, bro, that shit crazy. And it'd be crazy because it's like, I ain't never seen no email regarding copyrights before. So it's like, damn, I really got to read it, to look through it, like see what they're really talking about. For real. And then, yeah, bro, that'd be the, that'd be the bullshit about like wanting to start shit of your own, like especially when you ain't got nobody like really teaching you or showing you. And I'll be mean, thinking, yeah, bro, and that. A lot of this shit, that's what I'm saying. A lot of this shit we do not now is just trial and error. And we learn this shit. We learn this shit just through us type shit. So all this shit is just like us. We, we ain't look up no shit. This nobody came through, like, showed us what to do. That's what I'm saying. Like, videos put out is just, really just us working for real. So Working, like, motivation just... I be trying to get as much insight on like the game or like the industry as possible. I know uh, I'm gonna shout out Corlin because he really be like just giving yeah, me, shout out Corlin, giving me yeah. like subliminal what uh sub, what that word called subliminal yeah, yeah. like subliminal like me- <laughs> <laughs> subliminal mess like subliminal yeah. uh like insight like he ain't gonna a nigga like Corlin he a he real ain't gonna nigga. hold he, your hand yeah but, but like, he gonna put you like. Point you in the right direction Literally You just gotta make it shake like, You know so what I'm saying Shut you up bro Hey so let's get into it man 200 subscribers Where we at right now dog We about to announce our, We about to announce Our giveaway live yeah, right now Right now If you watch this episode um, This is the clip We go. We go post this clip On our Instagram What you need to do is Share the clip on your story Go to the comment section Comment done Right. And tag three and friends. Tag three friends. Tag three friends to our page. Uh Kurt. our YouTube page, right? Instagram. Instagram Ooh. page. Instagram page. And then we're gonna do a random drawing and pick the winner. Cause we at two hundred. Let me make sure we where where we at right now. We on now. 300, 300 plus subscribers on Instagram. We got two hundred plus subscri- uh, subscribers. You said subscribers on Instagram. Followers on Instagram. I said I said that. We got three hundred plus followers on Instagram. And 200 plus subscribers Bro, if we play, on YouTube. If, if we play that back and you said I just said something I didn't say, we're going to have a problem. Hey, run that shit back, editor. <laughs> but make sure, you guys enter the, make sure you guys enter the giveaway. $200. I don't know if you guys saw our first giveaway, but... We gave away $100 the last one, I think. Shout out Melanie. She won that one. Uh, huh? But... All right, gang. Enter. Because enter, we only going up. You see we growing. People want to work with us. What can I say? You feel me? So yeah, um, enter that into that giveaway. You know what I'm saying? Two hundred, two hundred dollar gift card. If you use it at your discretion. Um, yeah, man, we gonna do a random draw. I hope somebody win that we don't know. Yeah, because people be saying our giveaways be rigged. Like, I don't know. Shit, I don't bro. know how they be rigged, but we gonna do that shit live. We gonna do. We gonna get. You know how I like the. Uh, they do the little spin, the little wheel. Yeah, bingo, the, bingo, shit. Yeah, we had a ball just. Man, beep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what the butter counter, money counter sound like, nigga. Funny as hell. Hell yeah, I like that shit though. Um, yeah. Next video. Don't ask me questions. What don't do ask you? you questions. Yeah, don't ask me questions. Shit, Kevin Sanders. What you know about Kevin Sanders, death, bro? R. P. My nigga, dog. I fucked with him so hard, bro. Why, bro? Because he let he put these. Excuse my language. He put these holes in a place. Like, bitch, be realistic. How the fuck you got three kids and you want a nigga that makes six figures? So the, why, why you think she got three kids? She selling that pussy. You selling, if you having kids and selling pussy, that shit not added up. All right, think about it, bro. Realistically, think about it, bro. You got a girl, like you said, three kids. This mm-hmm. is a scenario, bro. Mm-hmm. She got three kids. She live in a nice apartment. How you think she paying for the apartment if she ain't got no degree? She going to work, nigga. She probably work at Chrysler. <laughs> she probably work at Chrysler, nigga. Joe tell you. <laughs> uh, 
seen your bitch. <laughs> this bitch has got, hey, and he probably, he probably got a little OnlyFans on the side too. You'll be fake. <laughs> how many, how many bitches you know? You know any bitches that got OnlyFans that run at Chrysler? Yes. Okay then. How many personal bitches do you know that got OnlyFans? <sighs> two. I know two, two. I know two. I know three actually. Okay, I know three. But she kind of deactivated her shit though. These bitches don't deactivate shit. They just take it to their close friends. Yeah, hey, look, the bitches be on some shit like, yeah, uh, twenty dollars will get added to my private. But yeah, bro, back on Kevin Sanders, Kevin Sanders will light their ass up. Like, like how you would would you say you a nigga that makes six figures, bro? Right, six figures, and the bitch approach you saying like, yeah, I want you. This is a net. That about a blue. But she got three kids, about three different baby daddies, and she been ran through. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right now, I feel like looking for like just in Michigan. I feel like looking for a girl like going through the recycling bin. Oh my god! Like no cap. Like think about it, bro. How many like how many how many like <laughs> how many like girls you know really out here that like don't they not really out here for real? And they got a decent like amount of followers one. on Instagram. That's like, a that's a TikTok. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, bro, say, yeah, bro, you said running through the recycling bin. Like, damn, that's crazy. Saying, how we doing? How we doing the time? I don't know, bro. We had 26 minutes, man. Y'all know it's talk to me and man. We back in the studio with it, y'all. We got a little, my little, my niggas behind the cameras, you know what I'm saying? They chimed in with us. Shout out Oklahoma. Shout out Jason. Shout out Ant. You know what I'm saying? What you, um, I heard, you be fucking with, like, uh, what's his name? Damn, bro, I'm kind of fucking up their names right now. What you been on, bro? Basically, what you been on? You been in the studios with niggas? And uh, like, you know what I'm saying? You want to shout them out or anything like that, bro? Shit. Uh, shout out, little bro. Shout out, Stacks. Shout out, Streets. Shout out. I was just in the studio with Diddy. He pretty humble. Shout out, Diddy. Shout out, every producer I'm in. Shout out, B4. Shout out, OK Jones. Shout out, uh, OK Jones. Cash. Shout out, Rich. Shout out, who else in there? No, 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 no. You shout out a lot of niggas. I'm just shouting out niggas that I've been working with. I network with. Kind of just be me. What are you trying away. to tap in with the show, gang? And see, like, I already told them, like, because those are literally producers. They make beats. They do camera work. Mm -hmm. So originally, my whole, like, idea behind that is, like, I know videographer Sue, shout out Spark, I'm in mean, mm -hmm. So kind of like just get them on the panel, like kind of just talk to talk talk to them about their day to day experiences in that field. On some shit like we should like on some shit like you know like you know how we did the, like day in the life. Yeah. So probably like day in the life with them, but on a panel they can all share their experiences mm -hmm. and just being a videographer, being a producer, just be, being an entrepreneur. Because yeah. at the end of the day, that's what they all are. Those definitely like some creators that we got to. Con well, I don't want to call them content creators, but the creators in general networking and shit. Network with them niggas for real. That's that's manager they and I. I already shouted out court. Shout out court. Yeah, that's some that's some good shit for real. I mean, if we get them niggas on the show. That could possibly be some future interviews we bring to the show for y'all. Let us know in the comments comments below if y'all want to see that type of stuff. And uh, let us know if y'all if um which I want to see in the future too. The future episodes. I know. We I know we did a reaction. We did a reaction. We did a vlog. We got to do another one because that bitch got taken down. Oh, yeah. We do have to do another reaction. So, <clears throat> we said we taking the reactions to um to the live. So, when we do that, those live videos will be recorded and posted to the channel as well. So, if you miss it, hopefully you can catch it on YouTube and don't take it down again. But don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss our lives, bro. Who knows? We might do a giveaway in the live. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Um, What else? We're going to do Talk to Them on the Street. And then uh, if y'all want to catch us downtown, we're going we're gonna to put the date or we're going to put the information up on our story on Instagram. And then, uh, hey, this next weekend, catch us at Juice, War Juice Wars. You said what? Memorial Day weekend, y'all. We're going to be out talking to entertainment. Cameras ready. Mics on, nigga. Talk to y'all on the street at Juice Wars. We're going to be in the field for real. In the field for real. Hey, listen. Hey, we got a little competition going on, too. Y'all going to see that in the video, though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and then we got our, uh, I don't want to say a new member, but you call him Talk to him, Joe. <laughs> he going he to be, be in the video, that little video, too, with us type shit. You know what I'm saying? Talk to him. <laughs> type shit. Uh, then what else, bro? We ain't got no, we ain't got no, fight for, uh, oh, our, um, our party. Oh our yeah, our one year, damn, our one year. All of this year shit video. catching up to us, for you real. feel me, bro? We've been at this shit for one year, and it, 
and it's kind of crazy because it's like let's go back to our first video and just look at look at like our appearances like in the in the progression of the, of the video for real like oh, that, that shit just keep keep on getting better as we go hell yeah bro you it'd be so crazy bro because it'll be like this is just one thing that like when people tell me it's like i appreciate it because like i mm-hmm. i like the motivation and the love but it'd be like They'll be like, I'm so proud of you. Like, I can really see the vision. And it's like, I appreciate that. But it's like. It's really wild. because like, hard. I really be on some shit. Like, I just remember. like, I just woke up. I'm like, bro. I'm like, this nigga Floyd up, bro. About to start a podcast, gang. And I'm like, damn, we were about to do that bitch at my man. And it's just set up this little studio in this bitch and then get it cracking, nigga. I can't. I can't. Uh, I gotta fuck that shit. I can't, uh, I damn near can't, like, that's like a moment I will not forget because it's like, damn. Yo ass is so, like, lost. You was like, how we gonna do this? What mics we gonna use? Damn, bro, what uh, what kind of equipment we need? This and this and that. I'm like, bro, we need boom, boom, bam, boom, bow. You, if you got a nigga that got vision, a nigga that's gonna put the shit in motion, you could do anything. Oh, stop, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. And, like, this nigga... I'm like I can I, I honestly couldn't pick a better nigga to do this shit with me for real. I want like, I would like all my niggas to be on this bitch for real, and then like eventually we'll have them like uh, guest star on that bitch on on here. But like this nigga for sure be on that. Like we gotta get it going, James. We are a uh, future video. We're about to do a video for our one year when we throw the party for the recap. It's gonna yeah. be a recap, not a recap video. It's gonna be like a. Um, we go. We go show y'all clips that y'all have not seen. We go show fucking um, or bloopers like videos bloopers. that didn't even make yeah. it. Yeah, we go show y'all like shit like shit that didn't even make it to YouTube that we had to scrap. My bad, ASN. Y'all already know. You know what I'm saying? Hey, ASN, we got to get y'all back on this mug, bro. Crystal Lauren, Malik. My bad, y'all. But, yep, that might that might drop next. Hope y'all stay together too for the Valentine's Day. <laughs> so we you can run it back. So we can run it back, back next year. Right back next year, but uh, yeah, bro. What if we fuck around had Dante on this bitch too? That would even be better. That would even be better, man. We should record that. You know what would be good though? What? We should record it not even around Valentine's Day for real. We what? should. Nah, let me not. Yeah. Because uh-huh. <laughs> we're gonna like niggas know they gonna be like, this bitch was not recorded in Valentine's Day. These niggas got no shorts. Yeah, no, nah, we ain't doing that. <laughs> Bro, but yeah, bro, 200, 200 plus subscribers, y'all. We want we want closer to the road of one thousand subscribers, and uh, and uh, expect merch coming probably later this year for real. Twenty twenty three. I'm sure later this year. We find a good vendor to get some merch cracking, bro. We will for sure bring that bitch out for sure. Hell yeah. And uh, like a fooler. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just giving out a little information. I'm trying to update these niggas, bro. Y'all, yeah, what to are, expect? You, we the haven't channel. been here in a minute. You right? You feel me? Like, can't you know give them. We can't. We can't give give them everything, bro. We can't give them everything. They got the fifth pop up with some shit. Like, damn, where you get that from, Drew? Yeah, pop out. Of course, y'all ain't gonna get the shit. We rock it. <laughs> we gonna have that exclusive shit. Oh God. You know what I'm saying? But um, damn, man, I just want to thank y'all for rocking with us for. Oh yeah, even like whole year. our supporters, like even friends, people that watch our videos, like comment, like that's what I be looking for, like the genuine love. People that's when I say repost my shit, they repost my shit. Even the nigga that repost my shit, and I don't even ask them to repost my shit. That's love. If yeah. I gotta ask you to repost my shit, that's not love. <laughs> that's not love. Y'all don't fuck with me for real. Hell yeah, and then like I just begin like same thing. Like people just like, oh, I love your video. This is that. It was so good. Y'all so funny. This is that. I look. I like that shit, bro. Sometimes I be like, I made y'all laugh for real. Yeah, you be thinking about that shit. I be thinking about that shit too. Like, hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like niggas, and then it be on sometimes like reaction video. Them niggas thought we was like blowed or some shit, and then like I'm like, nah, bro. We was just vibing for real. It just be high off life. Niggas just. <laughs> High off life You know what I'm saying He probably was high I wasn't <laughs> you Gotta get in that mode But uh Yeah man What you wanna You wanna wrap it up Or you wanna uh, you We can't, more to we talk can't about? wrap it up All I can really say Is just thank y'all Cause without y'all We wouldn't even be able To do this So that's just really it Y'all let me know Let us know In the comments down below What y'all wanna see What y'all want us to What, what more do y'all wanna see You know what I'm saying Like How much of a uh, content y'all want to see, let's put out. Boy, hit me out. 
<laughs> uh, make sure you guys comment below if you want more vlogs, if you want more interviews, like whatever y'all want to see. Because at this point, we can put anything on anything. We our hands, they're in all different types of bags right now. So that's it. I'm talking to Fliz. Talk to him, Jay. We out. Uh, ah.